Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. So I'm so excited to be back because I feel like I haven't been doing makeup videos in a while. So I'm definitely excited to be back. And look at this with my new new hair hair look. Okay, so um and also I have new products which I'm super excited to use, which is this highlight that could definitely blind anyone. Look at this from Amrezi. I love it. This from Anastasia. And this palette. Soft Glam, which is beautiful. I uh, so I definitely recommend both of the products. You guys are gonna love them. You need them in your life. Honestly, now till today, I know I cannot live without those products. So this is the outcome of the what I did. As you guys know, I do not practice. I do not know what I'm gonna be doing until I'm filming, like right in person. I go step by step and let you guys know what I'm doing. So I hope you guys enjoy this look because you know it just came out like this <laughs> so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching let's start with some concealer so i'll be using this one for my lid girl and i'll be applying it all over my lids this palettes i'm like so so careful with them because i don't want to get them dirty so i'm like i don't even want to touch them <laughs> and they're so perfect look at it so cute. Okay, so let's start. I'll be grabbing my Morphe M511 and I'll be getting burnt orange, the shadow right here. Ooh, it's like you only, you only have to dab it a little bit because a lot of product comes out. Like a lot of the product comes out, so just dab it a little bit and I think it's gonna be super. Let me just take some out because it's gonna be strong. Okay, so we're gonna place this on our crease. Let me put a little bit right here and a little bit right here. It's super orange. Definitely burnt orange. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna be using uh, the windshield motion to apply this shadow. Oh my god, it has been such a long time I don't do a makeup a makeup video. Like always, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not I'm not really sure what I'm going for. So let's just work together. A ver que sale. Let's see what happens. Okay. Next I'm gonna be using this Morphe brush as um our R38 and it's a little bit more thin, smaller. So I'll be using this the Sienna eyeshadow, which is not too too um loose, too pigmented. So I'ma start building more intensity in the crease, like this. Hopefully I'm pronouncing everything right. <laughs> Hopefully. I feel like I'm gonna get sick. I don't know, I'm talking a little bit weird. My voice sounds a little bit funky. Oh shit. For that look, she's my. I'm adding color where I was supposed to be adding color. Okay, so. Grabbing a more defined brush, which is this one from Morphe. It's M506. It's a little bit thinner. And I'm gonna be using. How about we go for this one, Mulberry. We're gonna start with the outer V to make it more defined. I didn't clean this brush because it's looking more darker than I thought and I don't think it's supposed to look that way. So maybe I had a dark, um, I previously used a dark eyeshadow with this brush and I didn't clean it off. So let's see what happens now. <laughs> So I'm going to grab the R38 Morphe brush and just try to blend all of the shadows together. So I'm going to go back and get for an orange using this Morphe M506. And I'll be applying it right here by the waterline. Mm -hmm. 
I always want to cry in this part. <laughs> Same brush, I'm going to go ahead and grab the Sienna eyeshadow. Here. I need my bronzer and contour because my face, after the facial, it looks super lighter. So that's how it looks right now. So I'm going to grab any, just grab any flat brush that you have, like this. And now I'm going to be grabbing Tempera right here. I'm going to apply some. In my underbrow, in my underbrows, so like so, it could look more clean. The eyeshadow could look more clean. Okay. And I keep using the same brush, which is this one, the flat brush, and I don't even know which one to get. So I'm in between the browns one, the silk. Sultry one? I'm super bad at pronouncing. Okay, let's stick to um this one. Let's do browns and see how how it goes. Ooh. Oh my god. I feel like I'm actually grabbing gold, applying gold right in my inner lid. Super shimmery, pigmented. I love it. Let's add Okay, let me clean it off, just like this. This is how I clean my brushes <laughs> for faster use usage. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one now, right here. Glistening. In the inner corner of my eye, so I could give it a pop. This, super pretty. I'm in love. Oh my god. Okay. So this is how it looked so far. I had to clean it off. I had to apply concealer and my mascara. So I'll be using this one. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Because I really do not have no eyelashes. They are super small. Unnoticeable. Go straight with the concealer to clean up all the mess. I'm just gonna be using a little bit. I'm running out. Okay, so here. Doesn't look straight. <laughs> Okay, so this go with me though. Right, let's go my pache. Easier and faster I'll be using this Ulta um, palette. It has it has bronzer, um, illuminator, blush, and then translucent, but I'm be only using this so right here. So I'm using my wet and wild brush so just do a three go right here and then like this and then like this that's how you do it and it makes your face look a little bit thinner Especially now that I gain weight and I lose it and, and then I find it again. <laughs> so let's use the sponge. So I'll be using a beauty blender to blend all this out. I'll be applying beauty blush. Blender. This one right here from Ulta with a Beach Cosmetics 125 brush. So I can give some color to my pale skin. <laughs> I'll be using the same translucent powder, which is this one, the Earth Burn, that you can find at any drugstore. That's the one I always use. It's super inexpensive and that lasts so 
so so so long okay this the forehead basically the the T zone Meanwhile, I'm baking. How about we move to the lips? And I'll be using my. You guys already know I love ColourPop and I love I love Sanae, so I'll be using this one, which is Softy. <sighs> so I just went downstairs to grab it, and that was my cardio of the day. Okay, so let's apply it. I love it. I love all her. Collabs with color pop. Okay, so I did go apply some Ardell eyelashes. So let's remove the translucent powder. We're almost done. Okay, so now we're going to be using the Fix Plus from MAC. Okay, so the moment I was waiting for to finally get to use this highlight. I am so excited. The Embrassy highlight from Anastasia. I have, I've been having this highlight for like a month or two. And I'm like, I need to wait and do a video, record a video, and then just react to it right, right in person, right in front of you guys. So let's do this super cute okay Ooh. I like it I am glowing I'm definitely gonna blind someone with this highlight <laughs> look at this I love it it's just perfect now I'll be glowing like a mercy I think I'm not going to be able to live without it. <laughs> Honestly, it's just perfect. Mm. Why keep adding more? Okay, this is addicting. That's what I just noticed. This highlight is addicting. So this is the final look, you guys. This is how the makeup came out. I'm not wearing no eyeliner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys for your likes, for your comments, for everything. Love you guys. So I was already done with my video. I was about to start editing my video. When I received the call that I was really anxious for, I was waiting for this call. I was praying for good news. And I was super emotional when I posted up something on my, on my social media. And then everyone started asking me if I was pregnant. Um, and the news is dun -dun -dun -dun, that I am not pregnant. I'm sorry, guys. It's something else. It's something really, really important for me. But I am not pregnant. But once um, everything's official, I will let you guys know the good news. But thank you guys for all your good vibes and, you know, las felicitaciones por mi embarazo. But I am not pregnant. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. If you guys were, like, hoping that I was pregnant. But I'm not. I never thought that um, sharing this news or this emotional news, people were just going to eventually think that I was pregnant. But I am not pregnant. I'm sorry, guys. But um, I will let you guys know what's the good news once everything is completed. Love you guys. And I'm sorry.